today I'm going to embark on a journey into the deepest depths of my own mind. It's gonna be one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm reading people's assumptions about me. So I know this is like kind of an older trend, but I figured why not? I've always wanted to do this. So a few hours ago, I posted on my Instagram story for someone to make an assumption on me. Let's take on the first one. You're low key an influencer. Mm, definition of influencer. Okay, it just looked up definition. Good job, Tori. So I feel like I should know this considering I genuinely am aiming in life to be an influencer. An influencer is someone who has the power to affect the purchasing decisions. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot because of his or her relationship with his or her audience. Well, by that definition, I am not an influencer because I have not marketed yet for any brands. Honestly, the brands that I have been reached out to, they just seem sketchy. I don't care if I get like a hundred million dollars, I'm not gonna market a scam. So, I would say I'm not an influencer. But if you're looking to market and you're watching this, hit me up. You like chicken. Let me tell you, chicken is my all-time favorite food. I probably eat canes three times a week, no cap. And then I wonder why I got acne. Idiot, idiot, idiot alert you're really tall. I am tall for a girl. I'm 5'9". I also have a very thin build, so it makes me look even taller. Like one of my good guy friends, he has more of like a buff build. People assume that he's shorter than me, but whenever we stand back to back, we are literally the exact same height. First thing people compliment or say something about my hair, the second thing's my height. You know every indie song. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> um... I don't know every indie song. And honestly, I just listen to songs and if I like the song, add it to my playlist. You're spontaneous. This has been my number one, that's two put together. Number one biggest struggle in my entire life is that I am so absolutely spontaneous that I literally do not give myself space to like work on things. So that's actually been the biggest problem with my YouTube career. Whenever I first wanted to do YouTube, which was like literally when YouTube first came out, I would watch these YouTubers and I thought it was like all spontaneous. I thought I could just turn on my camera and be the funniest person alive. Doesn't happen. <laughs> you have to plan and that's one thing that I'm trying to learn and trying to work on. It's a good thing but it's also a really 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 horrible thing someone said you're rich I'm not rich <laughs> someone said you love nature and you're not very social but you do love your friends I would say two out of those three assumptions are true I do love nature and I do love my friends as I am spontaneous to a fault I'm also social to a fault I would rather be hanging out with in a big group of friends than like at home doing my work. I am like the biggest extrovert ever. I literally get my energy completely from people. You seem introverted, but actually you're not. You are a very open person. That is true. That is funny that you say you seem introverted because apparently I do seem introverted. My Myers-Briggs is ENFP. I'm like the definition of an ENFP. One of these Myers-Briggs accounts that I follow on Instagram was like, send in your pictures and we'll do letter typing, which is the, which is basically the following. We'll say if I'm an extrovert or introvert, intuitive, sensory, filler, thinker, perceiver, judger. They got it almost right, except they did INFP. So apparently like from pictures, I have the appearance of an introvert, which is interesting. And I wonder like why I have that appearance. You love Harry Styles and Selena Gomez. I love Harry Styles. I've always loved Harry Styles. I was a directioner from a very young age. I had a One Direction fan account that I want to find so bad, but I changed the name, I changed the password, I made it private so nobody could ever find it again because it was deeply, deeply embarrassing. It had like 700 followers, which was a lot for 2012. I was like, influencer status, let's go. Let me influence your purchases in One Direction. <laughs> Your favorite color is black. I wouldn't say I have a favorite color, honestly. You eat butterflies. I actually eat butterflies daily. I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, dude. My favorites are the Nymphalidae. That thing. Try it, you should try it sometime. You feel lost and you're looking for your peace of mind. Mm, that's pretty deep. I would say somewhat, yeah. I do feel like part of me is lost because like I'm 20 years old 
and I look at everyone around me and I'm like, dang, like they're living alone, they're financially stable, and then I'm just like, live with my parents, still in college, nothing's really happened in my influencer life that's that big. Another thing I do is I look at like everyone around me and I'm, I want to do everything. I guess it like harms me because since I want to do everything, I end up doing nothing because I get overwhelmed. So yeah, in a way, I would say so, yeah. You used to listen to Avril Lavigne. I'll let this picture speak for itself. No. <laughs> you have a foot fetish. Okay, when I said that I ate butterflies, butterfly was actually code for feet. Your address is... So guys, that is it from the video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll post a video of me eating a butterfly. If you subscribe. Okay, bye, guys, bye. <laughs>